Hey guys, this is Rene Martin for Absolute Telmark and today we're gonna see the BMF from Bishop. This new binding that you can have 75 millimeter binding or NTN version. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are you going there and there and there? And today, Cause I'm easy and I'm easy today. So I wanna tell you that uh, Bishop has lent me all this equipment for free. I have to return it at the end of the review. Uh, and this is not a paid um, commercial or, you know, I can say whatever I want. So this is pretty cool. Uh, thank you, Bishop, for the opportunity. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. All right, so in today's review, we're gonna see uh, the overall system that Bishop has to propose, uh, the skiability of the binding, um, the step in, step out. I wanna talk about uh, the durability uh, the overall design and my final thoughts. So what's cool about Bishop is that they've created the binding, but also they've added the ski line this year. So they have two skis to try, the Shetty and the Gonzo. And I've tried them both and I'm gonna talk about them as well. So the Gonzo is a 90 millimeter ski, uh, camber only, no rocker. And this is quite rare today. Uh, every, everybody seemed to have forgotten the recipe for just uh, full camber normal skis and I was really surprised to say that uh, it's a really good all-around ski for patrolling out east. Uh, not so great in powder as expected for a 90 millimeter uh, narrow skis but it's a quick edge to edge, it's really good in bumps, it's really good carver, it's a really good all-around like no asshole, easy to ski from day one, it was awesome, I loved it. So the 100 millimeter ski is called the Shetty. And this was my favorite of the two. This is the one I've skied the most. And the Shetty is just a perfect all around quiver. Uh, it's okay on groomers, it's okay in powder, it's okay in moguls. So it's not the best at anything, but it's like a no question ski. Today, like everybody seems to have two, three skis that they have and then you can never know which one you're skiing that day I'm gonna be skiing this one or that one you know what I mean so the Shetty is just a perfect patrol ski for me you just jump in it and then you're sure to have no problem whatsoever one of the things I, I was looking forward is um, how the skis behave and to have a complete setup I've always said that um, like like Talmark it, it's about a combo with boots uh, binding and skis and for Bishop to make the skis and the binding I thought it was a really good advantage okay so uh, you get also the choice to have the BMF 3 or the BMF uh, R so I'm um, not sure why those uh, names uh, 3 or R but the touring version the R uh, or um, the 3 it really is the same binding do you want the touring ability or do you not want it it's up to you but uh, feeling wise, construction wise, it's really good boat. And uh, yeah, if you can save the money because you don't want to go touring, uh, buy the BMF3. Really looks awesome in my mind. One of the really good advantage of the uh, BMF uh, system is that you can choose to have it in a 75 millimeter duck bill version or the NTN uh, version. And uh, if you buy either or, you, you can change your mind over time, send them your binding back and they'll uh, make the switch to the new system that you want. So you can go, let's say you have a 75 millimeter binding and boots and you want to keep it to that. And in the long run, maybe change to NTN, uh, then you will be able to do that. So this is really good option in my mind that they've done that. Also for them, uh, reducing the cost of building like two binding at once and still serving the Telemark community. Uh, to its best. So it's kind of funny because I got to try like uh, the same binding with a 75 and an NTN uh, version. All right, so skiability, which is why we have those bindings. Most important part for me, I like the feeling so far. It's very responsive. There's no dead zone from from the start. It's really active, but not so much. Let me give you a an idea of how well this is skiing. As you can hear in this sequence, like in, 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 I'm in powder, there's some ice under it, I'm in moguls, um, and then 
you know, like I love this binding for that. It's very pleasant to ski. I feel like it's powerful, but it's not eliminating. Uh, so that's the ingredients that you need. There's some major differences in, if you set it to NTN, it behaves like an NTN just because of the boot. And if you, you have the 75 millimeter version, it behaves like a 75, very comparable to the axle in terms of power. So, the, you know, like you got the whole package right there. Like I'm 100% I'm convinced that anybody that, uh, that falls onto like uh, this BMF uh, family will find uh, at one point one setting that they like for sure, for sure. So that's the main advantage right here. Yeah, this binding is for everyone in bounds, resort skiing. It's just killing it for sure. All right, in the little um, unexpected plus is how you can ride fakie with this binding. Most binding, uh, tel all of the Telmic bindings I've tried, when you do it on hard pack, there's no problem. But when you do it in a little bit of powder, the powder will collect under your foot. And the way the binding is designed, it'll just add up, pile up. And after like a couple turns, three, four, five turns, depending on the snow, it just clogs. And now you're kind of a high heel situation where your, your foot is not flat on the ski anymore. And with the design that uh, the Bishop has, it doesn't create that uh, piling up. All right, with this review, I also had the Bishop tried by other Telmax skiers. This is my friend Rock. Uh, he's in NTN, uh, 60 years old Telemark skier. And this is my friend uh, JF from the Ski Patrol, 40 years old, and he's in 75. And both these Telemark skiers like the binding for its skiability, its power. Uh, JF said it was really comparable to his uh, normal axle. Uh, Rock, uh, he wanted more power at first because I was set really low with the tension. And uh, we did that and he felt like it was really comparable to his outlaws. So yeah, they, they, it passed the test for them as well. The BMF is really good for stepping, step out. Uh, for, for me, it's the best so far I've seen in a NTN or any Telemark binding. Um, it needs some really good adjustment. So there's many pros, but it comes at some costs. So in the pros, it's just easy to step in. Um, the spring tension on the brakes is easy to kick in and it's not as hard as the, me the Outlaw X. Um, the outlaw worked good, but this one is so much easier for me. Um, so it comes to a cost because um, there's only one size and it fits all boots from, I don't remember the numbers, I'll put them down below here, 23 Mundo to 30 or something like that. Um, but you really need to adjust the proper length to your boot, boot sole. It's very uh, critical that it's been adjusted really good to, for the step in to work good one of the things I liked about um, this demo um, binding it says demo here so I guess there's it's that demo is that they put the length of the sole in a sticker here and so where you move in and adjusting um, the position of the heel uh, you can really uh, it's really helpful to to get it close at first and then to, to nail it so this is what I like and here are no markings as you can see so this I had to guess the whole way as if I could already place it in the good length uh, the good sole length it was not actually the exact uh, sole length that they were given but it's really close so it's one notch uh, further than uh, what it's supposed to be on here but uh, still I liked it Another thing I, I, it comes to a cost is that uh, it's, it's a true step in, but you still need to lock uh, the heel piece with that uh, um, little lever that will pivot into place. I'm very careful the way I use uh, my poles to um, release the binding. Uh, if you use the sharp metal uh, tip, it just scratches the binding and I don't really like it. So I usually use my handle uh, the end of the pole to push down on the lever and the heel piece itself. 
the 75 millimeter version stepping in stepping out with a brake like this this is never seen uh, to a point that uh, if they were doing that binding 75 millimeter prior to NTN I think maybe NTN would have not come to see the light of day this is a really good resort binding stepping in stepping out is awesome and it's part of the design that really makes this idea uh, so good you know the main problem I have with durability is not that it's not a reliable uh, product it's really good actually um, like any binding it might break on you and I've identified one thing that's gonna break on you and that's not a big problem is it the change the real big thing is that you need two torque 20 screws let's see more about that the only problem I found was um, the safety lever that holds in place your back uh, heel and um, the heel piece is really good itself it's aluminum and plastic but it looks really dense plastic and but this piece here um, it broke on me so it broke right here we can see that uh, there's missing this part on this and ski and uh, I like this is a known problem for Bishop they, they uh, they've had a, a few cases of these and so um, they've already uh, changed this piece to make it better and uh, I also broke on the um, Gonzo 100, the 90 millimeter ski. This is the 75 millimeter uh, BMF3. So I broke the lever again here, and that's in the hollow uh, place. So uh, yeah, right here. So I can see now it's a lot beefier, and I'm not gonna push as hard in the future. So I've exposed the main problem of durability for this binding. And changing that piece is quite easy, but you still need two torque 20 screwdrivers, which are not readily available. And I'm sure engineer wise, it's a really good screwdriver. It's just that backcountry wise, or even at the resort, you know, like it's not something you find easily. I was wondering if the Phillips screw would hold within many adjustments, if it's a demo or if you're lending it to friends and you're always moving. Most people won't have that it's a one-time adjustment, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, I was wondering if it was just one screw like that would be strong enough. At the same time, having only one screw is really easy to, um, to do. You don't have to manage two screws at once, so yeah. The Bishop skis hold on really good for me. Uh, this is, you know, like, I'd say maybe like 30 days now using those skis, uh, maybe 25, I've not counted, but I've skied them a lot. And the Shetty 100 was my favorite. I love the width. I love the versatility of this ski. And I can see that the, the, the top sheet is still like uh, somewhat beat up, but uh, it's still holding up really good. I've seen worse, a lot worse in uh, a lot of top sheets. So this is really good sign for just the cosmetic. Um, so yeah. Good, good stuff, Bishop. All right, so the design is quite awesome. It's in the same line of ideas that uh, the Bishop Bomber was. Uh, it's really uh, kept, you know, their line of saying it's a badass product. Um, I think they've combined all the needs that a Telemark uh, skier must have on a resort. And there's some pluses for even backcountry uh, skiers. Um, this is a bit of a heavy binding, but uh, all the other things that this binding has are just killing it. All right, so televector and tension is a big subject uh, for with all those new bindings on the market in the last few days. Uh, you, every brand has their own recipe as the distance they will put the, the action of uh, the foot lifting. And uh, yeah, I think Bishop has nailed it. It's active enough for me but it doesn't limit my movement. Also the spring can be uh, put into tension like crazy. So if you like those really stiff, active binding, you'll be uh, well served. Um, NTN is really stiff with most of the brands, the Bishop NTN BMF version. Uh, you can set it to a really low um, tension 
and I think it's a bit lower than what you can get with the Outlaw X so if you're into that that's good but if you crank it up it's just a killer of a binding uh, my personal taste I've always been to have a very um, easy flexing binding so I set it to the lowest and I uh, really liked uh, it no tip diving so which is really good one of the good things about this um, binding is the adjustment for the spring this is not something you have to do very often but you could and some binding will need a special tool uh, like the outlaw you need a special tool or you could do it by hand uh, but not if it's in the stiffest position you will need the tool so I like that this is like a universally uh, um, accessible that it's very easy to turn like I can do it by hand without the screwdriver like that so even going in I don't feel the tension building up like I see on the outlaw so this is not so much of a big deal that it's not something that you have to adjust very regularly but I still really like the fact that it's easy to do you know like with every any tool can do it Phillips or flat can do it oh, yeah the main competition for the BMF for me is obviously the Outlaw from Tony to Design and um, it's got some really good pros uh, for, for the Bishop and mainly the, the may, maybe the main disadvantage is the price uh, it's a steeper price so they sell you with that plate that you can mount to different, to different skis and have only one pair of uh, binding that you have to switch over so this is the same idea that they've had with the previous uh, binding the uh, Bishop Bomber and it's worked good uh, it's 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 reasonable in time and um, and yeah difficulty to switch binding from one ski to the other it can be done in about uh, five minutes and so that's okay for me I think it's a good option all right so the touring capacity is, is really good actually for a, a full frame binding uh, it's way better than the NTN Freedom and Free Ride, obviously. And uh, it's a bit better than the Outlaw, I think, um, from where I can see uh, comparing the two uh, just like that. It's still a full frame telemark binding, meaning that you have to lift the whole system every step of the way up. Um, so, um, not my first choice for backcountry, but any, um, if you really want a, a solid option for the, the slack country or not too far this is a really good option uh, it's activated really easily with the the pole and to um, push it back down uh, with the pole only it's feasible but it's just easier with the, the thumb because of that double action that you need to do going forward and stepping down all right so from beautiful the massive uh, final thoughts for the BMF line of products is that they've really nailed it. Um, I'd like to see this company get a lot more uh, exposure. I think they're really good. Um, they're way up there with uh, 22 Design, I think, in terms of quality and durability, which is not saying um, uh, it, it's not easy to do, you know, like uh, 22 Design is the best so far. And I think that Bishop is, is done a, a really good job to, to, to get them uh, where they should be. This is an awesome line of products. The 75 millimeter version and the NTN skied really great. I loved comparing those two. I love the fact that you can switch from 75 to NTN if uh, one day you want to switch to that. Um, I love their line of skiing. I love the fact that you can have the combo ski and binding. This is an absolutely killer for me. Um, if I didn't know what to buy, I'd get this set up and I had no problem. Uh, be able to ski in all conditions. Uh, the Shetty with the BMF R would be my choice of, of uh, yeah, it's way up there, really liked it. What really separates the BMF R from the other product is the step in, step out, really good. Love the fact that it's a one size fits all. And yeah, that's really hard to beat. So you can easily sell them back and uh, you'll have no problem like on the hill for sure. On the downside, it's a bit heavy. I've had some durability issues as I've talked. I think it's minor and they're gonna repair that uh, no problem. So that's not a concern for me. I really recommend those products. They're really good. The ski wise, yeah, same thing. The skis were really good. I like the fact that they went back to a traditional shaped 
not so um, rocker and for those kind of widths uh, 90 millimeter or 100 millimeter it makes sense you know like you don't need super uh, rockered skis uh, for on-piece skiing so that's my review for today really hope you've enjoyed it from beautiful Le Massif, this is Rene Martin you can leave any comments below I'll try to answer them all you can check the website it's absolutetelmark.com I got tutorials on how to telmark and much 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 more much 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 more things uh, over there so yeah until the next time cheers hanging up in Targi there's so much snow I can't see when I ski what else can go wrong TGR dropping in like it always be if you ain't go be you get to go home so I pop pop I pop the wheelie in front of everybody and I'll puff and pass the doobie I'll make sure everybody goes